Hey there. If you've ever changed plates on a bar, on the floor, you know how much of a pain it can be. When we're working out together, my wife and I both change the plates, one on each end. Sometimes adding a plate is no big deal, but dealing with an empty bar or removing a plate and adding can take time and effort. Anyway, my wife complained about the difficulty of changing plates. I was just going to suck it up, buttercup, but once the high priestess has spoken, action must be taken. This is my video of a quick DIY lifting jack. There are commercial options out there. A little bit of research will show that the fitness companies have developed some solutions for which you can happily part with a good portion of your hard-earned cash, whilst simultaneously seeing how far you can flex exclusively from the waist. All for a small amount of metal and in some cases, a bit of plastic. If you've seen my other videos, I have no concerns with using metal pipe for DIY solutions. And honestly, that's where I started out with this video as well. I'll include some links to those as I think they're some really great ideas. But I wanted a solution for Her Highness now. And in the corner of my garage, I had a two by four. We can DIY. So this is the plan section. Ingredients, a four foot long two by four, a drill, one and a quarter inch wood bit, and a saw. A jack needs to lift the bar off the floor enough so that you can slide on and off the largest size plate that you have. For me, that was about 11 inches. Once I'd marked that, we just need to cut a hole with the one and a quarter inch bit and then cut a slot for the bar to get into that hole. And that's it, a DIY lifting jack. Ingredients, one piece of wood.